Welcome to the Polka Dot Planner on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to learn how to make a basic box. The first thing you're going to do is, I don't know if you know how to turn on your grid or not, but you go up to view and select show grid. You can also turn it off by clicking no grid. Either choice is yours. I'm going to turn off the grid just so that you can see it a little better. So the first thing you're going to do is choose, do you want a square um, a square edge or do you want it rounded because you can do both that's a square edge that's a rounded edge okay so I will teach you how to do this so we're gonna make a square box so you'll go over to the left and you'll choose this draw a rectangle then you'll go to your screened area and you'll draw a rectangle any shape any size if you want to make it perfectly square you'll hold down the shift key and then draw it and that makes it perfectly square so be sure to hold down the shift key if that's what you're wanting to do to delete it or select it, sorry to select it just go over it but the first thing you have to do is go up to the top left hand corner and select the select tool then you can delete it by highlighting it and hitting delete so we're gonna work on this box if you're working with an Erin Condren planner then your box measurements for a full box are 1.5 by 1.9. But instead of sitting here and playing with it and trying to get it right at 1.9, etc., etc., what you want to do is go to the right hand side and select these three triangle, uh, three uh, diamond shapes. Select that. Make sure your box is selected. Unlock the aspect. If you lock the aspect, then when you change the first one, it's going to change the second one as well if you saw that. So unlock that, go up here to the top, 1.5, enter to 1.9, enter. And then that gives you a perfect Aaron Condren shaped box. I hope that helps explain that. If you're wanting to do a transparency or anything of that nature or fill it in with a pattern, I'll be happy to tell you that how to do that in another instructional video. So please look for that in the future. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is color in this box. So you'll highlight it, select it, whatever, go up to the top, select this fill right here, and then you choose the color you want. You can also import a color palette into your library, and I'll show you how to do that in another video as well. For now, this is how you make a box. You can size it any size you want and do whatever you'd like. And the way you do that is going up to the three diamonds, clicking on it, and then adjusting it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will get back with you within 24 to 48 hours. Um, please like and comment if you like this video, and thanks for following. Bye-bye. Have a great day.